thing that worries me here about the Predators more than anything is are they expelling all this energy to get to the playoffs? And then when they, I mean, because there's, there's, you want to be a hot team going in the playoffs, but there's still what, three to three and a half weeks of the regular season to go. Yeah. So, like, you're asking them to really for 27 games just to get to the playoffs. It's going to be a lot. I mean, I, I maybe the momentum carries. That, that That's the only concern I have as well is that when will this run out? When will it run dry for, for Nashville um, to the point where they're probably exhausted by they get to the first round? All right. So if the potential Predators pl- uh, first round opponents is a list that could include, include Vancouver, Colorado, Dallas, Winnipeg, best matchup, worst matchup for Nashville. Like who is a team that Nashville you think is like, all right, they're a team that they're going to, they're a team that could actually maybe eliminate in the first round. And who's a team that if you're Nashville, you're like, nope, don't want to touch them in the first round. I think Vancouver. I think Vancouver is a team that I would uh, want to play if I was them uh, in the first round, uh, a team that I wouldn't want to play. Uh, I'm going to go Dallas on this one and, and with all their experience in the playoffs and how they played so well, that that's a team that I would not want to, to touch Winnipeg is, I think Winnipeg would be second for me on, on teams. I think that they would be able to be, if I had to rank them, I would go Vancouver, Winnipeg, uh, who was it? Col- Colorado, Dallas, I put them in that order. The Stars and the Predators split their regular season series, but the most recent game back on February 15th, the Stars won 9-2. to Honestly, like Vancouver is in like some unknown territory here going to the playoffs now for the first time in a minute. Um, I think they could at least keep up. Like the Vancouver has a ton of depth, but we've seen them at times. They're not the same dominant team that they were at the beginning of the year. Like they're not just steamrolling opponents. They've come back down to earth as they should. I do agree that their matchup against Dallas would be very, very tough just because Dallas is so deep when they're healthy. Uh, I wouldn't want to play them. The same thing. Like, I wouldn't want to play the Jets. Like, the Jets are a good team. Just figure it out. Like, do something.